Hey, man, I just woke up with something on my mind. Y'all really think Amir Khan can beat me? Y'all stupid. Y'all don't know boxing. Can't beat AB. Bye, bruh. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I reported about Adrian Broner, who called out Amir Khan. Amir Khan responded. So I made two videos talking about that situation. I want to give you guys the latest update in this quick video. So Adrian Broner posted a picture of somebody's graphic of him and Amir Khan fighting. And this is what he put. June 6th was go push. I'm assuming he's saying going. June 6th was go push to fight for him on Floyd card. But no disrespect to my big bro. I have my own career and empire to build. Hashtag about billions. Hashtag AB on NBC. So it sounds like he was saying he was going to motion to try to get a fight with Khan on the uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Pacquiao undercard, which they're still developing. Lomachenko and Jesse Hart, I heard, are going to be on the card. So I don't really think Khan Broner, as big of an event as that could be, I don't think that would have made it anyway. And it's not enough time to plan. You know what I'm saying? They're better off doing their own main event. And then um, Amir Khan responded. He already responded saying he was down to fight. But he said, I'm game. Already spoken to Al earlier. So... That was in response to another tweet Broner had that said, bro, we should make co-main event of May 2nd fight. What do you think? Hashtag epic night. And then um, Amir Khan also put this. It's about the best fighting the best. I hope we can make this fight happen. Adrian Broner, what a fight for the fans. Hashtag entertainment. Now, I'm going to give you my thoughts. I already kind of broke down the fight. I'm not going to do an actual prediction until this moves along further. But I will say this. Amir Khan, you got to tip your hat to him you got to give him credit because i really feel this man has heart and he wants to generally fight now some people are going to complain they're going to say oh why is he not fighting you know what i mean keith thurman looked beast in his last fight with robert guerrero or you got guys like sean porter who may there's a little complication with porter's fight porter's opponent was a no-show at the weigh-in so i don't know what they're going to do they're kind of scrambling to make something work. But you got Sean Porter in the division. You got a domestic rival like Kell Brook we, you have bad blood with. And that would make a lot of money over in the UK and be a good look for boxing. So on one token, some people are going to say, why is Amir Khan not gunning for those people as opposed to going after someone who's been fighting at 140, who did go to 147 to fight Pauli Malignaggi and also lose to Maidana, but he dropped back down. And his last three fights have been at 140. So I can understand that. That makes perfect sense. But also, the fan in me is willing to make an exception because of the type of fight this could be. And you got to keep in mind, Amir Khan did move up to welterweight. He took on two welterweights. Luis Colazzo dropped him like three times and looked good in that particular fight. And then he also fought... On um, In December, he fought Devin Alexander, and he looked spectacular and really pitched a shutout. Like, he, he landed this one punch, I think it was in the first round, on Devin Alexander, and it just jolted his head back, like, bop, bop, bop. And I was like, god damn, his, like, his hand speed is ridiculous. So, he's already fought two welterweights. Now, again, if he wants to, I want to see Kill Brook. That's the number one fight, over Broner or anything. I want to see Amir Khan versus Kill Brook. That is my number one. I also really want to see Keith Thurman. But again, the fan in me, if those fights for whatever reason aren't going to happen, I'm okay with this because Broner has fought at 47 before. I think the buildup for an event like this would be pretty extraordinary. You got two talkers, two two guys that are very confident in their skill set. They both have good speed. So it's an it's a interesting fight. And for Broner, I need some questions to answer. His power doesn't look to be the same at 140 and 147. And... There's questions about Amir Khan's chin. Can Khan take Broner's shots? Can Broner not be as stationary and flat-footed against a guy that you really can't afford to be stationary and flat-footed against? A good boxer, outboxer with tremendous hand speed? These are questions that this fight would answer. So that's why I'm okay with it. And hopefully we get multiple fights from these guys per year i think broner said he wants to fight three or four times so i'm okay with this particular fight amir khan versus adrian broner i think it's fun for the fans even the casual fans that don't really hardcore follow boxing i think they would tune in especially if this was on like pbc or something 
they can do the the corner to corner and i think it'll get a lot of engagement and and probably even more viewership than amir khan versus kell brook or amir khan versus keith thurman now again i'm not shitting on those fights because i just told you amir khan versus kell brook is the number one amir khan fight that i want to see the number one over pacquiao and mayweather i think that just needs to be handled first um and then i would also really want to see a fight with keith thurman but Again, in lieu of those fights not happening, it's a great fight. Con Broner, wanted to give you guys the update. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Con versus Broner. I think Broner's going to have a difficult time with, with the way Con's been looking in recent memory. But he also posted that clip that I showed at the beginning of this video. And he says, y'all stupid if you think I'm going to lose to Con. So let's see if he can prove me wrong and, and prove all the people wrong that think he'll get thoroughly outboxed by Amir Khan. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off.